Uh, thanks TVNI for giving me the opportunity to say a few words uh, here uh, today to just enhance uh, what I hope to say and uh, record in uh, my presentation for candidacy for the 13th Legislative Assembly. As you well know, my name is Lyle Snell. I'm a Norfolk Islander. I've lived here most of my life. I've been involved in tourism for over 40 years. But uh, the main reason I'm again standing, of course, is to try and continue the work that the 12th Assembly has commenced. We know that there have been difficult times. We've expressed on a number of occasions the difficulties with um, the global recession. That certainly affected Norfolk Island. It's affected our tourism numbers. What we hope to do, I hope to do in the next Assembly, is to try and encourage more tourism. Obviously, that's the backbone of this eco economy. I want to see better improvements in our uh, port facilities. I'd like to see a jetty. We've, we've uh, encouraged the building of a jetty at, um, at uh, Ball Bay. We now think that possibly a newer one at Headstone uh, is the idea, and that will, of course, help to reduce the cost of living on Norfolk when we try and eradicate some of these delays. So I want to, a principally, a, uh, uh, an encouragement for better tourism to the island, better port facilities. We want to see, at times, a better improvement in social security, social welfare. We're always looking after those areas, and we have been doing that. I want to see more um, edu education and the facilities created uh, for education here on the island, and we've, we've been looking at that, particularly in uh, high technology for communications. We're looking at better areas for um, alternative sources of revenue for the island. And uh, as we've explained in a lot of the occasions uh, by newspaper and from the Minister for Finance and from the Chief Minister in a lot of the preparations that they've been doing in the papers and uh, in uh, the Chief Minister's statements, we are always looking at the servicing of Norfolk Island. And we have tried to create and stimulate the economy by not stopping the spending, which has been very important. It's, a, it's an area where the Australian government has also entered into and has encouraged the continuation of money circulating within the community. We want to look at better health facilities. As you know, we've just finished, completed the emergency services centre. The next thing on, our, uh, on uh, the agenda that the last assembly hopes to do is uh, also uh, look at the establishment of the starting up of a new hospital. But there are other areas that we have to look at. But I think the 12th uh, Legislative Assembly has done reasonably well. I know we've come under a lot of criticism, but we have tried. We've um, tried to balance out the areas which are in need. We've looked at the problems associated with low income earners, and we've tried to come to some arrangements there with the, the offering of um, the GST to low income earners. You can claim your GST back on your food uh, expenses and we're always conscious of the need to protect those low-income earners. We're also conscious of the problems with waste management. We've looked at and invited consultants to advise us on that. Some of those advice have been followed. We're looking at pit burners to uh, try and dispose of waste in a more um, uh, environmentally friendly manner. We certainly will, if elected in the next assembly, reduce or eliminate altogether the disposal of waste at Headstone. That's it's been a priority for me in the previous assembly. It certainly will be also a priority in the next. And uh, as I indicated in my campaign speech three years ago, I wanted to um, look at the possibility of introducing apples into the island. That was a little bit controversial, but it has passed. It's now waiting with Aquis in, in Australia, the Commonwealth, to give us the authority to import apples into Norfolk Island. It may. Uh, be beneficial to the island, it may not. It will be up to the population, the people of Norfolk Island, to decide whether they want to purchase it or not. But the opportunity will be there. But there are so many things that the 12th Legislative Assembly of Norfolk Island have commenced. The Argentine Ant Eradication Program is a very important one. That's a great concern to me. And I hope to see that uh, going and continuing on so that we can try and eradicate one of the world's most invasive pests to Norfolk Island. So, uh, people of Norfolk, this is just a broad view of the, the items that the Legislative Assembly 
have commenced in three years, have continued on from previous assemblies. We, we all recognise, I think, the difficulties associated with a small economy, with a restricted budget, but um, with the many difficulties that we've experienced, the many uh, obstacles that have been thrown before us. We're very, very concerned at the, well, I am in particular, at the exposure bill, and I'm sure the, my fellow members in the Legislative Assembly will join with me. We, uh, we are, of course, providing a report to the Commonwealth uh, about our concerns with the exposure bill. At this very time, I'm strongly against it. I think it's inappropriate. It's certainly the timing of its introduction is appropriate, inappropriate. We haven't been given enough time to uh, put together a, um, a proper, balanced uh, objection or uh, favourable comments to it, even though we have sought advice from, from uh, lawyers overseas, particularly in uh, those that are experienced in uh, these matters. But it is of a great concern to me, the exposure bill, and I would do all in my power to, uh, to not have it being introduced at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, those who have bothered to watch this, thank you for taking that time. I hope on the 17th of March that um, Norfolk Island continues with its, uh, its current Legislative Assembly members that are standing. I'd like to see those members continue on for another term. If it is to be a major change, I hope that it will, will be for the better of Norfolk. But my deepest concern is that Norfolk Island remains as it is that we work in free association with Australia, not become integrated within Australia, and certainly not to be independent of Australia. Thank you very much.